Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get straight to it. In today's video you will find out how the price of Bitcoin has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, EMA, Divergence and Stochastic RSI are showing. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. By taking a closer look at the hourly time frame for Bitcoin, the price went down only slight by about 0.6% in the last 24 hours and has a current price of 36,899. Moving to the hourly simple moving averages, the price has crossed the 20 SMA downwards but the volume wasn't very high, which means it is not a very strong signal. At the moment, the price is between the 50 and the 20 SMA. If the price bounces off the 50 SMA which is currently at 36,785 it could be seen as a support and the 20 SMA that is at 37,523 could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. However, the shorter time frames are not very accurate and the bigger time intervals like the daily should also be considered for longer price development. Jumping to the hourly exponential moving averages, the current price is now in the hourly ribbon, so you should see if the ribbon could hold support, currently at around 36,598. The ribbon is relatively spread out so the support should be considered. Looking for divergence in the hourly time frame, owing to a bearish divergence, the price could go down from now on or at least remain stable for the time being. Looking at the hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the lower region, which means that the price is getting oversold and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. The K line is currently above the D line, which shows that the trend has shifted to the upside. Jumping to the three hourly simple moving averages, the current price is above all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bullish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA could hold support or the price will break it to the downside below the current price of around 36,272. Moving to the three hourly exponential moving averages, the current price is above the three hourly ribbon, which is generally bullish and the ribbon could play as a support so it is to watch if the price could bounce off it. The current price to watch is around 35,102. The support should be considered because the ribbon is more or less spread out. Jumping to the three hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the lower region, which means that the price is getting oversold and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. However, the K line still hasn't crossed the D line, so it should be waited to see if the trend will actually change to the upside. Moving to the daily simple moving averages, the price broke the 20 SMA to the upside but it's not a very strong signal that the volume hasn't been very high. The current price is above all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bullish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA could hold support or the price will break it to the downside below the current price of around 34,114. Moving to the daily exponential moving averages, at the moment, the price is above the daily ribbon, which can be perceived as bullish and the ribbon could play as a support. This means that you should watch if the price could bounce off the ribbon. The current price to watch is around 30,757. The support should be considered because the ribbon is more or less spread out. Jumping to the daily stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the higher region which means that the price is getting overbought and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. However, the K line still hasn't crossed the D line, so you should wait to see if the trend will actually go down. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short-term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time. time.